Now that we have our array set up, we will add some applications with Docker. To do this we need to navigate to the settings panel, and from here we'll enable Docker. Ignore this warning message, this is just here because my old Docker file is an old version of the Docker image. Um, this good size would be about 20 gig, as some of the Docker containers can be quite large. We will locate the Docker image on the cache drive. And the Docker share. And we'll create a new Docker image. We'll apply these changes. Now we should be able to see the Docker tab up in the top menu. Ignore this part down the bottom, it's just a plugin I have installed. To install repositories, you um, copy and paste the link into this box here, separated by new lines. To find the supported repositories for Docker on Unraid, we navigate to the limetech.com slash forum website, scroll down to Docker Engine, and there's a child board called Docker Containers. We'll now click on all Docker template repositories. This is a list of all the popular template repositories and containers. For example, we will install app Talker's repository. And we'll save this. Now when we go into add container, we will now add a container. To see the applications from the repository of Aptelica, scroll to the bottom and you'll see them, but we won't install one of his ones. Today we'll install Flex Media Server. To configure the configuration storage, we'll give it access to the cache drive, app data, and make a new folder for Plex Media Server. And I'm just going to put a one at the end to make it unique from my original Plex Media folder. Now, when you made your media folder on your array, now we want to give Plex access to our media folder that's on our array. To do this, we'll go to the user array, media, give it read and write access, that way I can delete and manage files and read them all. Now we'll create the image, this can take some time, especially if it's your first um, image you've installed. Okay, now that the files are finished downloading, we click the Done button. 
and Plex Media Server will be running. Now if you want it to start whenever your server starts, you can toggle the auto start feature and now it will start when the computer turns on. To navigate to the Plex interface, we go from your host IP address and then the port for Plex is always 324,000. 3400 slash web you'll need to select the user if this is your first time you probably won't have a user account but um, this isn't my first time so Sorry that this is taking so long, but the screen capture software that I'm using seems to be using a lot of resources. Once that loads, you'll need to accept the Plex Terms of Service. To create a, um, a library, you click the plus button over here you select the type of library for movies you will use movies obviously TV shows music photos home videos so I'll start by making a movies one give it a name Keep it as default. Click next. Now you want to add your media folder. This will be the folder that you um, pass through when you mounted the image. So it's media. Like me, my movies are in videos. Movies. You add the folder. If you want to select advanced features, you can go to the advanced tab. We can select the scanner, the um, metadata agent, which will scan for metadata, like the movie names, the directors, and all that kind of stuff. You can tell it other, these other options down at the bottom. Now you want to click add library. It'll start scanning the movie's drive. Then you should see your movies appearing any minute. Once it's loaded your movies, you'll see that some of them have downloaded the metadata and some of them have yet to be named and the metadata to be fetched from the agents. Ready to use your Plex server. 